have seen churches closing. We've seen our demographics get older. We've seen numbers get smaller. It would be very devastating. The church is a very central part of our community. So we're doing something about it. The history of Lutheran Theological Seminary, Saskatoon, goes well back to train pastors locally for our congregations here. We still remember the glory days of the 1960s when all of our churches were full and where everyone went to church and where, uh, you know, Christian culture was, uh, was supported by everything that we did. And we're not seeing that anymore. Now it, it really means that faith has to matter to people to show up. We're transforming LTS. We're preparing people for many and new kinds of ministries in various ways. Lay people, deacons, pastors, through certificates and degrees. We're moving classes into various places across Western Canada. With our Anglican and United Church partners, we are building a common faculty, shared administration, and finding ways to create mutually supportive governance. We are focusing on training leaders, leaders for the church that is and for the church that will be, while sustaining our Lutheran identity. We invite you to share this journey with us. 20 years ago, students would have to move to campus, do two years of full-time study, go on a one-year internship, and then return again to campus for a full year, which was really difficult for spouses and for children um, and for any students who had ailing parents. For them, seminary almost wasn't an option. The way that we're doing seminary now is students are able to take the pace that they want to and they don't have to move their families. And that opens up the diversity of students that we have. When I went to seminary, it was either second career people or single people. And now we have students who have young families, students who are caring for older members of the church, students who have other work. And so they can either take a full-time approach and get it done quickly, or they can do it part-time and take it at the speed that they need to for their, for their calling, their multiple callings. Yeah, I never thought at 64 years old that I would be considering another vocation. Our church is uh, just south of Riding Mountain National Park, so three hours northwest of Winnipeg. So there was uh, no leadership in the church after previous retirement. So the only way that I would be able to take this on is to fast track through the alternate route to ordination. And if I didn't have this opportunity with LTS, we wouldn't have uh, leadership in our church. One of the things that's central to the work that we do is ensuring that our students encounter God and people in different contexts across Canada and around the world. So our students travel and our hope is that they will encounter different ways of being and learn to understand different ways of God speaking to us in the world. Coming from the University of KwaZulu-Natal, which is probably considered one of the best um, institutions in Africa, coming to the Lutheran Theological Seminary was quite eye-opening. <laughs> I can say that um, this seminary ex exceeded beyond measure what I had expected from, from a seminary. The kind of professors that you have at, at LTS is world class. It was, it was just a blessing. Very, very intelligent, highly educated, and yet at the same time, they were able to take complex theological or biblical concepts and explain them in a way that was so much easier for us to understand. The classes that they are offering, they're continuously looking at the curriculum, trying to decide if changes need to be made to help better prepare the students that are attending. One of the classes that I took, I think it's a couple of years ago now, is Queer Theologies, for example. So addressing challenges that some of the people in the Christian community are, are facing. 
and also addressing the diversity, addressing God's diversity. Deacons are a rare breed within the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. But one of the things I really appreciated about LTS is they recognize that the ministry of deacons has an important place in the church today and in the future. And they are really striving and continuing to evolve their program so that it reflects the uniqueness of diaconal ministry. One of the core priorities of our strategic plan is to focus on relationships, growing with our partners, the College of Emmanuel and St. Chad in the Anglican Church of Canada, and St. Andrew's College in the United Church of Canada. With them, we are stronger, our classrooms are richer, and our capacity for learning is much greater. They bring expertise that we don't necessarily have. Um, we have professors at the other colleges that are teaching biblical studies, which is, is not something that the Lutheran Seminary has in its wheelhouse right now. Worship and liturgy, other classes like that. And that works really well because it allows us to offer different perspectives. It allows us to let people who are experts in their field in biblical studies really get into that. While at the same time, um, the Lutheran Seminary and each college will have their own sort of specific Lutheran content that allows us to get more deeply. So it allows our students to get sort of the breadth of knowledge that we have, the ecumenical engagement, and also the depth and uniqueness of Lutheran theology and to share that in the classrooms. We are keeping our identity as three denominational colleges but working as closely together as we possibly can including on a common uh, program for a degree and to do that symbolizes in a way uh, the goal of ecumenism which is to say um, we can be proud of our denominational background um, and we can bring that to the table and then we recognize that others are feeling the same way and doing the same thing and that only adds to our, the richness of our experience and the potential for our ministry together. It was clear to me the history that exists between LTS and St. Andrews is one that's rich. It reaches back 40 years, and it has been grounded in many ways in informal, deep relationships. As I have journeyed and as the pandemic came into our lives, uh, it synthesized the importance of that traditional relationship and the reality that to formalize it um, would allow us to do more together than we've ever been able to on our own. We are hoping for a richer church today and tomorrow, and your skills and your interests and your sense of possibility and creativity can help us to make that possible. Our classroom. Our classroom. Our classroom. Our classroom is Western Canada.